Okay. Okay. Okay, Frederick, it looks like it's working now. You can go. Okay. I think it is. Wait a minute. Let's make sure. Okay. Good afternoon, good morning, good whatever it is at the time of the world. I know I'm late. We've had some definite issues with Zoom today. And we are about to get the, road, the show on the road now. I am very sorry. I want to apologize to our special guest, Amy Mitchell, who is here to have my phone just went crazy, who is here with us. Amy, thank you so very much for joining us. And yes, we are going to talk about service. We may talk about miracles a little. Um, because it's a miracle that we can all talk in so many different places at one time. And Nor, I need you to go over the rules and hopefully we haven't lost our audience completely today with all this confusion going on. So Nor, you can look at the screen now, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring anyone in until we're settled because it's been a little unsettling today. And don't touch anything. I'm trying to unmute there, I think. Are you unmuted now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, guys. This is Nirullah from Saudi Arabia. Okay. Basically, I'm from Pakistan, but I live in Saudi Arabia. And I'm here to improve my English and assist Carla as a co-host. And guys, <clears throat> um, we have a few simple rules. Rule number one is turn on your camera unless you're a lady and you don't want to turn it on. Rule number two is do not unmute yourself unless Carla wants to speak with you or you will be out of the show. Um, if you want to join this show for the first time, there's a link top of the video. Click on that link and uh, you will be here in the show in no time, but you must need follow the instructions. And Carla will also mention the link and meeting ID in the comment section. So you can uh, pick up from there as well. Uh, we have our special guest, Amy Mitchells today, who is a judge. So let's her introduce herself and then we will go further. So over to you, Amy. Thank you so much. Yes, <clears throat> my name's Amy Mitchell, and I'm actually running for judge of county court at law number four in Fort Bend County. Fort Bend County is one of the most diverse communities in Texas, actually in the United States. And it makes me very proud to be supported by so many wonderful people, including people from the Muslim community. Keep talking because I'm having trouble getting in on Facebook here. I may need to do this another way. Um, I will be, I'll be there in a moment. Bring in Rafia, please. I see she's here. Okay. Oh, there's many people. Thank God. Yeah, we've got a lot of people here today. Okay, so uh, are we gonna talk? I mean, are we gonna talk today on miracles again? Miracles, social service. Um, I had a little bit of a conversation with Amy about this earlier, but we never finished the conversation. So. Um, I'll let you go. Bacha, you need to sit up and your eyes need to be open or we're going to have to remove you. Okay. Ain't nor please. I need you. Okay, Carla. Uh, so Rafia Mem is here and let's introduce herself as well. 
and then we will go to you know discuss on the topic. So over to you, Rafia. Morning and good evening, everyone. G. Uh, I am Rafia Madasir from Karachi, Pakistan, and I am an educationist. And I am Rafia. And Rafia, you're yeah. very quiet. Can you speak a little louder, please? Okay. Okay. I'm saying I'm Rafia Madasir from Karachi, Pakistan, and I am an educationist. And I uh, am the owner and founder of Nurul Huda Foundation, which is looking after um, youth empowerment by enhancing their skills and by helping them reach their maximum potential by uh, selecting the right careers for themselves, as well as uh, keeping up them updated with the 21st century skills that is, is the need of the time. And I'm also training teachers and parents in this regard. Okay. Uh, today we are talking on miracles and then uh, Amy is a judge so she can also uh, talk logically about the another thing. So Amy, do you believe in miracles and did Nor you happen? Nor. Her name is pronounced Amy, not Amy. Okay. 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 I'm sorry. I don't usually interrupt you when you're doing that, but I had to, and I'm having some weird problems sharing out too. So I will be back as soon as I get these issues taken care of. Okay. So, Noor, your question was, do I believe in miracles? And yes, I do. Things happen that sometimes simply cannot be explained that are for our betterment. And that's always very exciting when that does happen. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm in, in real trouble today. And uh, OK, but now I get back. Uh, so show must be on the road. Kala, I'm sorry for that as well. Fine, just keep going. You're doing a great job. I just had to correct the name because I was like, Amy, who's Amy? <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, this might be accent different, but you know, to be honest with you, Carla, I don't want my father to fire me from the work. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> that seems important as well. <laughs> Um, okay, and I just made a real big mistake, so I need to go correct it. I'm going to be quiet while I'm getting this together. Yeah, but you also need to adjust your camera at your face. You know, we are also like giving rules to the people and we are not following by ourselves. So that's was, that's also important. So Rafia Mame, uh, all to you now. And, you know, we are discussing on again on this topic on miracles and then we can go so on. So what is your opinion about this question? <clears throat> I, uh, um, day before yesterday when we were talking, I said that I am a very staunch believer of miracles. And at times, yes, as Amy said, uh, that things are not understandable. So I had a miracle today. My foundation got registered as a trademark. And this I have been actually struggling with since the last year. But today it is it got registered. So for me, this has been a miracle because uh, as you know, in Pakistan, the red tape and the government offices are really very difficult to go through and the stages. So I got to the right person today and I got registered and I'm so happy. Congratulations, that's a big step. Yes. You know what was miracle for me today? What the person yeah. the person who was bothering me a lot, they disappear. <laughs> <you know? laughs> and I hope did you did you see my post on Facebook that I I wrote it? And you you were laughing no, there. No, not not today. I was really busy. I just got free in the evening only, and I had my interview with um a very uh, good uh, educationist from Malaysia. Actually, she belongs to Sri Lanka, Rani uh, Vemel. 
I got to talk to her, and again, I I was really delighted to meet her and speak to her. We have been struggling to actually go live, and today finally we were able to. So I will okay. be reviewing the post uh, now on. But so, what magic did you use? <laughs> no, Rula. <laughs> Uh, I don't know you are, you know really much, but Kala knows it. And, oh, we've got Mariam also. Uh, yeah, she's here, and I'm going to unmute her as well. But <clears throat> uh, the other night, a person yeah. called me attitude time. Like I uh, had like first time ever attitude calls from one person's, you know, which is bother me at three in the morning, <clears throat> and then I used the option silence. Uh, you know, I did. Put my phone and thanks, Carla. You remember me last night to put my phone on. Silent I phone. needed to remind <laughs> you because I wanted you to be awake today. And that's why I'm on time. I did it for my, I did it for my own self. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, sometimes you do it for the benefits. I know it, but it's okay. I'm, I'm still training. I love to come to this show and to invite with the people and, you know, like I'm so glad now we have a judiciary judge that she is gonna be, but it's it's an honor to speak with her. So the honor is mine, even beyond here. Thank you so very much. I can learn something new from you today. You know, it's it's been an honor. So <clears throat> um, we we are talking about medical, and you 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 have like experience about uh, because you're an attorney and you work it for so long. So. Like how you handle when medically someone came in and you know to want handle the case. So how is going that life? Well, okay. In our world, we see so many miracles. We see somebody who recovers from a very bad illness like cancer. Treatment that's not supposed to work does work. We see children who find a home who've been raised in the worst possible conditions. We see parents who find the child that they've always been searching for and get to adopt him. We see people who are injured, who overcome the injuries and are told they'll never be able to walk. And then we see them walk. There's so many different miracles in our life or we even get registered um, as we just heard before, it, when there's so much red tape, it's Im almost impossible to fathom being uh, registered. So each day we look at life and we see so many miracles. It could just be a plant growing out of a crack in a sidewalk. How did that happen? So miracles can be big or small and you just take them and enjoy them and embrace them and hope for the best in the future that we continue to always see miracles in the world around us. And what miracle has happened to you today, Amy? This show actually is on live on Facebook because it was looking doubtful there for a little bit. So see, I'm on Facebook live with you, Carla, and that's pretty much a miracle at this point. Thank you. I feel honored that you would say something so kind. Thank you very, very much. And Carla, you know what miracles for me is right now because I see your color is totally different and you are feeling so shine today. So it's a miracle. Okay. <laughs> okay, Sister Miriam is here and um, she's already uh, unmuted herself, I think. Uh, so, um, and she's in revert Muslim. That's in America itself, you know, she, she, uh, she had a long journey from one religion to another religion. So uh, introduce yourself and then share your medical with us. Okay, well, again, I'm, well, I'm going by Ariella, but yeah, I was going by Miriam. That's uh, my uh, full name I've chosen was Ariella Miriam Strauss. Anyways, as Brother Nor said, and it's good to be here today, by the way, I was up off and on last night uh, with so many interviews I have today. You know, I was just up. Um, I couldn't sleep. So uh, I'm glad to be here today. And um, but anyhow, yes, well, I've um, to have you, Ariella. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try, I said, it's good, it's good to be here. It seems like Thursdays are my best days to be here, but I'm going to try to make it, uh, you know, during the week the best I can. But uh, yeah, my journey basically for me was, um, I, I was a, uh, I was with the, uh, I guess, Christendom or the Trinitarian beliefs, which I didn't believe in 
the Trinity at all, but I attended the nearest churches. So when they found out I didn't believe in the Trinity, they basically asked me to leave. I'm like, okay, fine. You know, they didn't kick me out. They can't tell us that, but they just pretty much uh, turned their backs on me. And I was just studying other uh, religions. Um, I did find my husband. I, I will say we are a multi uh, interfaith family. My husband is a biblical Unitarian. So, um, and we're all united in everything. And um, basically that means that they, he believes in the oneness of God, like Muslims do. And like, the Jewish tradition does. And um, so we get, you know, we get along, he supports me. But in 2011, after that happened, I just got tired of man's opinions of how we read the holy books. I'll just put it that way. And, um, you know, I read the holy books for myself, but not with any man's opinions or any church rules, if that makes sense. And I was looking online back then I had AOL dial up. So you can imagine the pause. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I was looking online and I came on YouTube and I came across the Dean show with Eddie and um, I listened to a man who was a previous youth pastor called, uh, he used to go by Joshua Evans. Now he called Yusuf Evans, I believe. Um, and he showed his, he shared his journey in his uh, hour and a half, almost two hour video. Um, it was, you know, way too long, but I enjoyed it. And that just got me interested in looking into Islam. I wasn't looking into it to begin with. I wasn't searching, but it came to me basically, you know. And um, from there, in 2011, I searched out the nearest uh, masjids and I attended their inquiring class on Saturdays for six months. So I got to know the community. So, and uh, for the past seven years, I studied basically. And as of uh, two and a half weeks ago, um, I finally took the step. I said, you know, I've been in the community so long. I want to make it official. So I took that step finally. But um, the good thing is, though, I still um, work with or am with the interfaith community. I haven't closed doors. So basically, um, my husband and I sit together on Sundays and we have uh, online meetings with his congregation. I just sit in and keep quiet and, you know, just read. So we share together. So hopefully he'll study uh, Islam when he gets a chance. But um, until then, you know, I wish the best. My miracle, um, gee, I could go in a, you know, a whole session about miracles. But uh, basically I have a autoimmune disorder since I was 15 and I'm 41 now. So the miracle to that is, um, first of all, I'm not on any medication. They did a splenectomy. And what that means, they take your spleen out. Your spleen helps filter your blood or your system. That's uh, what a... Uh, they tell me at least, and my platelets were attacking each other. So they removed my spleen. They actually found I had two spleens, which is very unusual. So they removed both. And uh, my lupus, they said I had lupus. So that went in remission, still in remission today. That's a miracle. And um, the fact that the doctor- is a miracle. It, it, it is. The fact that I, yeah, and the fact that I'm medication free, I don't have to take any medication, that's good. Um, my main miracle I'll chime in on is the doctors when I was a teenager said I should not, not that I could not, but I should not have children, but yet our creator blessed me with four children. So, um, but that was the limit. My body now is like, nope, no, no more. You know, my, my immune system is already down. So, um, but the thing is I'm homebound now the last three years, but uh, you know, I'm staying positive through the whole thing and I get to be online and uh, share things with you guys. And, um, you know, so the miracle is that, um, you know, that I'm still here and that even my health is not perfect all the time, I'm still going. And I have this uh, abundant new energy inside me to, to thankfully to technology that I wanna help people. So that's what keeps me going besides my children. So I hope that's a short introduction. Sorry about going all the way off, but that's uh, my miracle is my family. And the fact that I keep going even in bad times. Indeed, and uh, you know, <clears throat> and um, before we go further, guys, uh, let me remind you once again, the purpose of the show is to improve your English and build your confidence. And look how tremendous people we have today. Uh, laughter meditations, uh, judge, uh, educational uh, entrepreneur. So that's in the, you know, uh, platform, you can learn many things from here. So click on the link, join the show, and you know, and that's going to be a miracle for you as well. So, uh, Carla, did you want to share anything before we you go know, further? I'm going to go further. I still need to do something, but I want to, 
I usually don't do this, but I'm doing it today because I read this quote from Rehan and it actually speaks to what I'm, he's been, we've been talking about miracles recently because I really need a big one right now. And what he says is really good. Everything happens for a reason. Smile, be brave, be in charge, and learn the lesson while doing the best of the best performance in that role of life. And the reason I decided to read this is that we all have a role in life. We all have something that we need to do in life. And we get stuck with these thoughts, oh, I can't do this. I can't speak English or I'm not progressing as fast as I want, which is my case. But you all can do it. You just need to decide to do it and to move forward. And if you don't decide to do it, then you're missing out a lot in life. And there is someone who needs to put on some light on his face. Um, Solomon, you need to get light on your face. You look like a ghost. Um, but this is what the show is about. It's about stepping out of your comfort zone, putting a smile on your face, and doing, and doing something you haven't done. And Tasdik's brother, I forgot your name, but you need to put a smile on that face. I'm getting tired of looking at that sad face. Come on, you can smile. I know you can. You have a great one. I don't know where Tasdik is. I'm glad you're here, but if you don't smile, you know what I'm going to do with you, right? Uh, Carla, let okay. me let me share one thing, uh, and Rafia Mem will agree with me because we are like we both in the same stage. Uh, uh, the Rehan and you are you as well, Carla. The Rehan world is, is a miracle itself. Like uh, here, like there are many things happening. You can learn. Somebody can fall in love with you. Somebody can call you at the three in the morning. You know, so on and so on. So guys, if you really want to enjoy the life. Join this words, you know. Believe me, you're gonna you're gonna like it. You're gonna enjoy it really. <clears throat> anyway, uh, move to Tafim Rahman. Something to that. Um, Rayhan has been a very dear and close friend, and also very much a miracle for me. And I feel very lucky. I wouldn't be doing this show if it hadn't been for Ray Hunt, to be honest. He talked me into it. I said he was crazy for a while. He kept on talking and I kept on listening. And all of a sudden I said, okay, I'll do it. But I don't know how to teach English. And look what I'm doing. So people, if you really want to do something, don't give up because you feel you can't do it or because you've never done it done it just get out of your comfort zone and make your make your life bigger than what it is right now um again i'm going to ask Sal salman or Sh solomon please sir, get some light on your face we can't see you well uh carla he live in pakistan and where he live that light is enough he couldn't, he couldn't do anything more than that. So, okay, <laughs> I'll shut my mouth. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. Um, and Safi sir, Rahman, you son, have some... to show your face. <laughs> okay, uh, another clarification. Zarwana is a girl and she don't want to show her face, so <laughs> leave her. Okay, then we can, she can go, she can take, turn off her camera. It doesn't need to be on. <clears throat> Here we go. You're fine, Zarguna. I didn't know. I just saw a name that I didn't know. You're fine. Yeah. Okay. We need to we need to move ahead, Carla. Really, and okay. Tafim Ra Rahman is unmuted, and today there is three native speakers, so you can talk with anyone. You know, including Rafi Mem as well. She is in education, so she can guide you as well. Okay. 
who is unmuted? I'm a little confused. Tafimur Rahman. Um, they are always coming with a different wait name. For his brother to come. Where? Hi. How are you? How are you? I am fine. And you? I am fine. Did you have a good day at school today? Yes. I okay. have a good day at school. Have you been listening to the conversation? Yes, I listening all our conversation and I understand you. Okay, then tell me what is the miracle? I can tell you what the miracle is having you here today, but you tell me what your miracle today is. Uh, I can believe on no uh, miracles. You do believe in miracles or you do not? Uh, believe, believe on miracles. Okay. What was your miracle for today? Because everyone has a miracle that happens every day. What happened to you? Mm. Nothing. Nothing? Tell me something. Did you wake up this morning? Numerical. Uh, sir, Akhunzada. He's coming. Camera. Uh, miracle mean is miracle mean is uh jadu that we call jadu. Uh, so that will help you that I'm uh, pronouncing the name in Urdu, jadu. So did you? Uh, did something today like a jadu? Mm. You are using Just the wrong word in Urdu. Our paper. Karishma. Karishma. Oh, oh Karishma as well. Yes. Something that yeah. is uh, unbelievable, something that happens uh, oh. which you didn't expect. That is a miracle. Karishma. Okay. Karishma. Thank you. Yeah. I and just I, which, something. That's what I love about this show. You know, if you made a mistake, somebody is going to correct you. I don't feel shame. You know, <laughs> it's a way to learn something. Right. Yeah. And that's why you come into the show to learn something different. If you're sitting out there in the audience and you don't come in, this show really doesn't have much value for you. The value is talking and being a part of the show. So, my question, Karishma, is that the word? Yeah. Okay, what Karishma happened for you today? What is, he's not Tafim. Tafim's nephew, I forgot your name. What is it? What, what is your name? Tell me it again. My name is more more similar and more i love on the team i id yeah uh, he's he this id is my is my uncle right so what this, miracle happened to you today uh my paper what okay tell me about your paper my paper is so easy Okay, what was your paper on? Mm, computer paper. I don't understand. What did you write your paper on? Tell me about it. Question and answers. Okay, what was the question? Uh, computer, what is computer? Computer is electronic machine that accepts the storage process at, and according to the instruction provided by by the user. Uh, this computer definition in paper, uh, I write in in paper this question. Did you write it in English or did you do it in Urdu? Uh, not English. In English, I write wow. in English. That is excellent. So do you feel good about doing that? What? 
Do you feel really good about your your miracle? Uh, yes. Yay! Amy, okay, do you Carla. Have anything to say to him? I think anytime I a student, you know, I see you. Yes, I think anytime a student can accomplish something and achieve a goal of finding it easy to answer and write things in a way that everybody understands is always a miracle. It's wonderful. Congratulations. And I agree with you wholeheartedly. <laughs> the reason you go to school is for you to learn and to grow, and you're obviously doing it. Congratulations. Where is Shastik today? Uh, he's in home. Oh, so he's not coming today? Uh, no. Okay. Tell he's, him I say he is working. He is working, uh, school working. Okay, that's fine. But thank you for coming. I'm so excited. Thank you. Yes, Ariella, what do you want to say? First of all, I just want to thank uh, this young man for being here, um, especially after school. I know that children all around the world after school are probably exhausted. So thank you for coming here. And it's uh, great for you to be here. Second, I just wanted to add um, with Brother uh, Rehan, is that how to pronounce his name? The one that's uh, in charge of all this? Uh, Rehan. Um, okay, Nora, you're shaking your head yes. So I'm just making sure I'm saying his name right. Um, actually, I usually don't advertise, but I am gonna do this. I uh, Another miracle I was thinking of is because I'm on a budget like everybody else is. And I was actually able to go to Amazon because looking at his website, he has so many books, but I got the one in English about adding 500 friends or adding friends on Facebook that a book. So I was actually able to purchase it. So I should be getting it soon. And today after this class in a little while, I have um, another hour. I have an interview with the celebrity group. Uh, what is it? The cele celebrity, yeah, guru. The celebrity <laughs> guru. You're going yes. to be upset to hear this, but cancel that order. You can get it for free. Uh, it's already come in the mail. So I already, you know, it's already shipped out. It said, but uh, maybe uh, maybe I could talk to him. Maybe I could give that one as a gift to somebody. I don't know. Yeah, but it's already okay. Well, we'll talk later about uh, you know, getting this book because I am on a budget. But um, but anyway, so yeah, so my mar my miracle was that the finances were actually there. And usually I don't talk about that, but I'm like, too bad. Uh, because I was thinking I'm like, well, too bad I can't ask him and get one from him and him sign it, you know. But um, but it's just uh. You know, that's just great. I just say just, uh, look, I guess, look online. If it's able to download, then download it. But he has good resources online as well. And hopefully uh, some of the books are downloadable if, if it is. But um, this is downloadable. You, can, yes. you probably can cancel it already. But this is the book. Right. And it's for free. In fact, he gave me several to give them out. If you had told me, I could have even mailed it to you. Well, you know what, Carla? I'll, I'll uh, message you after class and give you my address. Maybe you could still do that because my laptop is acting up sometimes. So it's better to have it in my hand. So, um, so I'll, I'll, talk I'll talk to you, to you later. It's going to yeah. be very difficult for me to get it in the mail for you because of my situation right now. Okay, um, you can. We'll talk about it. Later. Sorry to okay. interrupt, guys, but yes, you ahead. know, it's, it's not the right moment to talk about the other things. So we need to include the people who is waiting okay. in the panelists. And Salman Shah, brother, you are next. Uh, I know that, but please forgive me. I'm going to chance. I'm give, uh, going to give chance Zarwana before because she's a lady, and ladies are always first. So yeah. I'm going to unmute my her part. and. Her my apologies. Father. My oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So you don't worry. But you know, we are like we are running out of time, and of course, we need to involve Mitchell as well. So you know, and because they are the native speaker, you guys. So you need to talk more. But we also need to involve the people who is coming here for speaking with you guys. So nor people need to know that that book is a freebie from him also and you can download it there's nothing wrong about mentioning it here i know that and he had a lot of video about that book so if anybody need to download that book visit amazon youtube wikipedia 
a lot of people places anyway now uh, let's yeah. not to be involved in that topic so that when i yeah, let's... we don't need to get get into it but i just want to <laughs> be a okay uh, you can talk with that one right now hello hi zarhana where are you hi. from uh, i'm from afghanistan oh so, thank yeah, you for it, it, it's, it's very sorry to i i'm not showing my face but oh, i have some problem there uh, it's okay it's okay yeah. you're a lady ladies do not need to show their faces okay thank you very much so i just uh, watching your uh, conversation uh, listening because i need to learn english that's why uh, i Uh, join your group so that's it i don't have any more Darhana, you are yes. already speaking english all mm -hmm. you need to do is get the confidence to know that you can do it yeah i want to doing... learn my english is not very well that's no uh uh you don't say that that's why you can't do it because you tell yourself you can't do it yeah i am not, i want you to stop talking and start listening okay please listen to what i'm saying i say this every day everyone thinks they can't do it because they haven't had the confidence to do it i have understood every word you're saying without any trouble forget the whole thing about accents forget the whole thing i can't speak english and start saying to yourself you can because you can and you're doing a great job every time you put that not in there and i do it myself i'm not perfect someone reminded me of that yesterday but every time you put that in you're stopping yourself from being able to do something different just decide i want to do it i can do it and i don't need to say i can't stop it now okay i said that nicely nor don't yell at me uh no um you know so i will i will proceed you were words further guys again i'm mentioning that and i mentioned that like many many time if a person like me can come at the the part of this show is a person like me can become a co-host and help carla as a co-host so can you please don't discourage yourself english just a language you know and you can you can learn as much as you practice that will be easier you know and the way i'm speaking right now i never go any university i never go any academy only the lady uh she is my teacher and she helped me to to improve my english that's it just practice and you know uh remove the fear from your chest so that's the thing that we can do uh and only that way we can help you uh you know there's no other way to teach you english so that's it over to you carla i know so zarguna this is a miracle you came today you are talking to me your miracle is right this moment do you realize that uh i i i can't understand you are doing a miracle now no 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 zarhuna you're doing it again you need to listen and stop interrupting you are saying i cannot it's a miracle that you had the courage to come and speak to me today that in itself takes courage that in itself is very important there are at least hundreds of people listening to you now and they can understand every word you are speaking do not tell me that a miracle did not happen now you can speak so what can i say what do you want to say 
I, if you have any question, I, then I, I give you What do you want to tell me? You came here, you must have had something you wanted to tell me. What did you want to say? I don't want to say anything. I just listen to you and... <laughs> okay, uh, let me ask you a question. Where did you find the show, Zavana? <clears throat> I find this show from Facebook. Okay. okay. And I Where joined it. Did you find it? Did you find it on Rehan Awawa's page? Yeah. Do you follow Rehan? Yes. Sahuna, do you follow Rehan? Uh, no, I, it's, his name is other thing. I, I, Rohullah, something like that. Okay. Do you follow his page? Yes, I am following his page. Are you a friend of Rayhan? Yes. Please send me a friend request. Okay? Okay. But don't say you cannot speak English. You are okay. doing a beautiful job. Amy would say the same, Amy? Actually, I've been very impressed by your ability to speak English, and I think it's wonderful that you're on here. It takes a lot of courage to get on a show and actually speak in a language that you're not very comfortable with. So I actually admire you very much for being on here and attempting to learn the language and then actually using it in public in such a big way. So congratulations to you. And I feel the same way. It takes a lot of courage to do what you did today. It's wonderful. Hey. You understand Carla? what I'm saying? Zarguna, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. Okay, I wanted to make sure because it's very, very important for you to understand this. Yes. I'm listening and understand. Sometimes I'm doesn't I, I just uh, want to understand, but sometimes it's difficult. Okay, <laughs> when you don't understand Zarkuna, you need to say I do not understand. Okay, then we can help you. But I don't know when you don't understand unless you tell me. Okay. What okay. do you not understand? At the moment, I am understand everything. Okay. Sometimes I talk too fast. You need to remind me to speak slower for you. Okay? Yes. Okay. Yeah, thank you. And I want you to come back, please. Okay, I'm, I will be. Great. Okay, uh, <clears throat> Kala, I want to ask one more question from Zarwana. Zarwana, did you okay. speak Pashto in your home or Persian? Which uh, language you, your mother tongue? Persian. Yes. Persian. Got it. And Hind, Urdu as well. Can I, can I, uh, yeah, I, okay. I can. Yeah, I can speak. Yeah, I know Urdu is common like in India and Pakistan and yeah. Afghanistan and Iran. So many people can speak. But, you know, our like we're going with the different languages. So our mother tongue, like many people speaking different mother languages. So that's why I ask. Anyway, thank you. Um, Una, one more just, question. Do you speak French? No, no. I can just I speak uh, English and Urdu, Farsi, Pashto. Okay. But in Afghanistan, do they speak French or what do they speak? They are speak Persian, Farsi. Oh, okay. Do you speak Persian too? Persian, yeah. Look how intelligent this woman is. I couldn't yeah. speak all those languages. Mm -hmm. Give yourself a hug and a pat on the back. You are doing beautifully. Hey, Carla? Yes. I just want to say to the sister as well, and I'll slow down my speech as well. Um, <laughs> I am amazed at how well you are 
talking in English, and that's very good. And like Carla said, if you or anyone in this room does not understand a a word of English, you know, because translation is sometimes hard from one to the other, we could, um, whether you need to know the definition or how to pronounce the word, just ask us and we'll be able to help you. And also to the room, if um, you want this name you see up here, I'm friends with Rehan, with Carla and with Nor. So you be able to send a friend's request. I'm telling you to send a friend's request because I, when I requested too many friends and messengers, they blocked me till tomorrow, so I can't send it. So feel free to send it, please, sister, and anyone in here watching, because I'll be glad to you know, talk to you as well. But sister, I just want to say I am so, um, again, amazed and awed that um, at your your slow level down, of slow English. Down. Slow down. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. I'm just amazed yeah. and awed at your level of English and just keep coming here and just enjoying the conversation. And that's how you'll learn more. So I just wanted to pre say I'm appreciated with anyone being in here today and uh, for that step. Thank you. And I am very proud of you, Sarkuna. Please come back and please send me a friend request. Rafia wanted to say something, Carla. Yeah, Rafia? I wanted to actually point okay. to the fact that uh, you know Afghanistan has had such difficult situation, and in that, uh, her learning and knowing so many languages is really very awesome. And the way she is speaking English, I salute her that she is, despite the situation in her country, she was learning. Yeah. That's another wonder, too. And that you can say that's a miracle, you know, a, a lady yeah. who is belong from a country and still she can speak English. So that's an American stuff. I mean, what is your opinion? <clears throat> I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong because because of my accents. Hey, I well, first of all, I've been so impressed by your English and the fact that you did not go to school to learn it is beyond impressive. You really have done an outstanding job in communicating and speaking the language. As far as um, I've been impressed by everybody's ability to speak the language on this show, whether or not they were American or from Pakistan. It's so impressive that people are even trying to do this. It's not their native tongue. I studied Spanish and it's very difficult to learn another language. The most I can say in um, Arabic is Salam Aleichem and Shukriya. So, uh, <laughs> so that would be the extent of it. They're doing far better in English than I can do in Arabic. Well, thank you. And in that occasion, I'm intelligent than everyone because I can speak four language. Uh, two of my native language and one is Arabic and fourth is English. So <laughs> anyway, thank you for your compliment. And, you know, uh, that's give me encourage, uh, like that's give me courage uh, when people appreciate me, you know. So I become more passionate to learn about language and that's uh, throwing away my fear, you know, when, when native speaker commenting on your like they're impressed. So if you were impressed and you were understanding me better, so uh, again, I'm saying that it's, it's an honor for me to be here on the show and speak with you guys. So thank you so much for supporting me, for, you know, give me courage and always supporting me, especially thanks to Carla. You're always supporting me. You always protect me from everything like a mom. So I'm so glad you know, I'm so thankful to you, Carla. You're welcome. I mean, I don't yeah. think I'd be deserve all those kind words but thank you anyway <laughs> that's true <clears throat> well you mentioned your father beforehand and i think he would be and must be very very proud of you and what you've accomplished you have you have so much and he's lucky to have you here thank you very much by the way he's watching it the next room so he's watching me every day <laughs> <laughs> so i don't think you're gonna get fired today i think you've done very <laughs> Uh, no, in that occasion, I have fundamental rights, you know, to do some things. But anyhow, we need to move ahead. Uh, thank you for your appreciations and, you know, for your courage. Um, thank you one more time. Uh, Carla Salman Shah is next and he's waiting so patiently. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's been extremely patient. We yeah. need to say hi. Hey, Salman, how are you? Thanks. And uh, what's about you, Carla? I am fine. 
Tell us a little about yourself. So basically, I'm from Parta. It's the tribal areas of Pakistan. Uh, it's bordered with Afghanistan. It's uh, province of Pakistan, Afghanistan province. Touch with uh, Parta, North Pakistan. And I am doing. What are you saying, Noor? Read the chat, Carla. Yeah, that's okay. So, are you? Carla, are you listening to me? Yes, I am. So here I'm in hostel. There is some net problem, also some electricity problem. So that's yeah, why we're having a little trouble understanding you, but you're not. We can understand you. Keep talking. Okay, so. So I basically from Fatah tribal areas of Pakistan. There's uh, nowadays I'm a student of MS, uh, Master of Political Science, doing Master in Political Science. Ah, oh, do you want to be a politician? No, just wanna to study the basic things. Basic, basic things about individuals. Why are you doing it? So that's my purpose. Okay. Um, are you a, you're a student now. How old are, I may have asked you this, but I'm going to ask you again. How old are you? I'm just 22 years old. Oh, yeah, you're too old for the kids program. <laughs> I that was what I immediately wanted to know. Um, what miracle happened for you today? So today I so my everyday life is full of miracle the way I'm getting my education the way i am getting my things so i am not able to have these things but today i have a presentation of on the us presidential election so i do it in english first time i do my presentation in english. you did it in english so it's it is amazing for me. Excellent. Yeah, I, yeah. I have the book also government in the yeah now what is we are studying comparative politics. So, very good. So many, so many, you want to listen to me? We can hear like UK, USA, uh, and <clears throat> he disappeared. So, oh, there he is. So many, your your speech is not clear because your connection isn't good. Can we, can we yeah, try yeah. this again on Monday and see if we can get a better connection to you? Okay, thank you, Monday. But thank you for coming. I'm very proud you did a presentation in English. Don't worry about yeah, it, thanks. you're going to pass. You won't have any problems. 
Carla? Yes. Uh, tomorrow is my paper and I'm working for my paper. Uh, I'm leaving this show. Okay. Okay. Thank you for coming. I'm Bye. You did. Bye. Bye. Say hi to Tastik and your uncle for me. Uh, what? Say hi. My, my English. Deke and your uncle. Uh, okay, my uncle is uh, talking with you. Okay, you listening. Okay, thank you. Um, Carla, what did you say me in the chat? I couldn't find, so the question is still here, so you can ask directly. Um, I already did. I don't know if she understood me. That's my question. Um, then let me send message in my yeah. native language. No That's worries. why I asked. Okay. okay. I, I think she did, but I'm not sure. So, hello, Tafin, how are you? And then I need to go on to someone else because, can you wait? Uh, hello, Carla, how are you? How, how are you feeling? I am fine, but you kind of like, but kind of got into line. Can you wait until then after I speak to the two people who were here before you? Before, uh, I didn't understand, please. Um, do you want to help more? I got it. I got it, Carla. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Uh, Tafim, Abdul Zahir is here before then you, and then Bilal is here before then you as well. So Kala want to speak uh, first, Abdul Zahir, then Bilal, and then you. So you need to wait at this Okay, 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 Thank okay, you. no problem. I, I'm here. Thank you, Tafim. Okay, Abdul, I haven't seen you for a long time. Where have you been? Yes, I was here, but I was busy with my shop. Actually, nowadays, our um, uh, kids' clothes uh, season is going on well. So that's why I'm really busy with that. So, and I really use uh, two, three Facebook uh, IDs. So uh, sometimes I use when I'm free, this one, yeah. So when I saw today, you are uh, um, uh, online, yeah. So that's why I joined. When I use this Facebook and I'm free, I um, I must I join it. Okay, I'm glad you came. Now, what yeah. what so, miracle happened for you today? Miracle, actually, I see, I hear, I hear this first time miracle. I really do not know about it and. Uh, um, that um, Nurla explained uh, in miracle mean magic or what uh, he told. Uh, it's kind of charisma that we call. Uh, well, it's not a magic. Magic is a different thing. Magic is going with the logic sometimes. <clears throat> but uh, miracle is the thing that you don't want to do that. Uh, you want to do that, but you couldn't reach at that point. Uh, you're not expected to, you know, to achieve that goal, but you achieving suddenly. That's called miracle. You know the things you call like you achieving, like with any without without any hard efforts. You know, so that's called miracle, for which is you are not working so hardly. <clears throat> okay, you mean something done by suddenly? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> you are asking that uh, what was the miracle of me today? Yes. I just can say that uh, today, uh, when I went to shop, I thought that uh, I will be having good salary. So uh, one good customer came and he purchased from me um, much goods, much clothes. So that was the miracle today with me. Excellent. <laughs> yes. You had a miracle today. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, Carla, yeah. just give me a second. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, Zaruna, if you hear me, please um, respond in the comments. I wrote something to you, please. Thank you. 
Okay, over to you, Abdul Zahir Bain. Sorry to, uh, you know, to interrupt you. Okay, so this was the miracle that uh, when I was thinking that full day I will be having this much salary, so just one customer did that. So is it a miracle or not? That's a miracle. Uh, yeah. You got the money yeah. you needed to have. That's a miracle. Yes, yes. Okay. Are you going to come back to the show again soon? Yes, of course. Uh, yes, I will be. And I, I really enjoy this program. Yeah, when I'm using and I'm free, I love to join this program again. Amy, do you want to say anything to him at all? Well, I applaud you on being on the show and I welcome you back at any time. Learning English is really a great thing and this program is a great way to do it. And so it's a pleasure hearing you and speaking with you and I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you, Amy. You're welcome. Now, let me ask you something. Did you have any trouble understanding him? No. No, actually, I've had no trouble understanding anyone who's spoken on the on the show today. And do you know why I asked that question? I suspect they believe that they're difficult to understand when, in fact, they are not. And they need to hear it from someone other than me, because I say it all day long and they don't believe me. Understood. So well, thank you. Clear from the young man all the way up. Everybody has been very clear and understandable. Absolutely, and I'm so proud of them. Me too. Feel, it's you know, it's amazing nope. to watch people grow in their ability to communicate with each other with a smile and some laughter, which is my goal. Okay. Okay. Yes. Darkuna, you want to? Hello. Yeah, I'm in there. Nurullah, you say something. I didn't know what I would say about what. Uh, please, what the what the chat? I wrote something new in the chat, so uh, that's kind of private. So you need to respond there in the chat. I saw my uh, messenger, but in here nothing. Not in the messenger. Okay, I'm I'm read, uh, writing to you again. So there is an option in the Zoom applications. We'll be find it. What I'm writing to you. Okay. And it should be at the bottom of the screen, and it says chat. Okay. Just so. Oh yeah, I find it. Yeah. Okay, Abdul, do you mind if I speak to Tafim now? Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, of course, yes, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Hello, Tafim, now you can talk to me. Hi, Carla, how are you? How are you, Tafim? How are you? Uh, I was listening the, I'm well, I'm feeling well. I was listening the topics, uh, miracle. So uh, mm, before that, my nephew was listening and he talked about uh, himself and I believe uh, that the miracle uh, today uh, here in Peshawar and Pabbi uh, in before, before <laughs> Pabbi, Pabbi. No, Puppy. Puppy. <laughs> oh, puppy, no. Right next to me. Yes, yes, but uh, the place we are uh, living uh, here, that's called puppy, P A B B I. Puppy. Uh, okay. okay, okay, no I problem. Got a little too much, Rayhan. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so the miracle, uh, uh, I think uh, they kidnapped. Uh, uh, Madrasa student uh, from the way, so he uh, couldn't reach to the home. So what is the miracle? 
miracle miracle that uh, we couldn't say but uh, they are doing anything i think i'm missing the point nor can you help me what what is the missing point i think i'm missing what you're trying to tell me and i'm not sure what you're telling me uh tafim uh, getting yes. someone is a plane it's not medical if somebody make a plane and then the person's you know kidnap the child uh, from uh, whatever you're talking about so miracle is the thing which is uh happening like the you want to achieve your goals and you you are yes. you're going yes. like you're not going to pick that but you are picking that suddenly you know like unexpectedly so that's called miracle open the door open the uh, opening the door closing the door windows uh, closing the window and uh, shutting uh, sh shutting down the computer uh, laptop and light off that that's, uh, that's happening here i saw one time brother you are going out of topic but we are talking about karishma no, karishma ka no, karishma no, no. stop you that is also a miracle you don't know how miracle to down a miracle that's uh, a miracle My apologies. You have to open the door. You want to go get some water? You open the door to get the water. That's a miracle. Anything can be a miracle. <laughs> yeah. But I understand what you're saying. I'm just making it larger. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh Kala, time is really running away and I have oh, questions from yeah. um, Uh, from Emmy. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I I don't know. Yeah. I don't know you did uh, Facebook live before or not. Uh, you know, and I know that uh, being an attorney, you are speaking with the many people. You know, and uh, that's like a routine job with you. But you are here in the show for the first time. So how's that experience, and uh, how did you see the show? Well, I've watched it on Facebook as well as on my phone. I've heard everything. It's been very good. Rayhan has said you need to do Facebook Live, and he actually. <laughs> so uh, this has been very interesting experience. And truly appreciate the opportunity to do it. I have enjoyed it, and I've enjoyed seeing people from your country and listening to them speak English so beautifully. It's really been a wonderful experience, and I thank you so much for including me. Amy, can I have, do a Facebook Live with you maybe today or tomorrow? Or sure, absolutely. Okay, I was going to ask you. I knew it's easier coming here sometimes than going on Facebook Live, but I did want to do one with you. Okay, well, we'll have to figure out how to do that because I haven't done it before. I it's very easy you can do it. Okay. We'll talk after the show. Sounds wonderful. Thank you. And with that, we have come to the end of another episode of Learning Hutch by Speaking English. We started a little late, but we're also very much over time <laughs> even though we started late. <laughs> So um I will be back Sunday for the kids and we will have several of the super kids here on Sunday nor will be with me and I will definitely be here Monday through Thursday for any age from 8 to 99 plus And you're welcome to come same time, nine o'clock p.m. Pakistan time, same place. Rayhan's um, page, the green hoodie one, and the same, same place, same time, same channel. I'm missing something, aren't I? <laughs> Not missing anything, Kala. You're doing good. Just finish it. <clears throat> okay, so let's wave goodbye. According to Nora, I'm not missing anything. So yeah. we're going to wave goodbye. Uh, and we'll see bye. you on Sunday or Monday, depending on how old you are. And
everyone. Amy, stick around for a moment and okay. we're going off air. Bye. Bye, everyone. Okay, uh, so we're going to wait for a moment.